A good review of Spirit is about to go very, very bad. Little do they know. Dun, dun, dun. This is gonna be seen by millions of people. Today I'm gonna give you some awesome tips for traveling with Spirit Airlines, and then I'm gonna tell you why I will never fly with them ever again. Spirit Airlines flights can be a cheap way to travel if you know what you're doing, but sometimes it gets a bad rap. Today, we're gonna to reveal some of our top tips for traveling on Spirit Airlines that'll help you save money and not be miserable. Most people take Spirit Airlines for short flights, but today, Diane and I have two grueling back-to-back -back flights from Columbia to Miami and from Miami to LA, and so we're gonna show you exactly what we do to survive. Now, the first step to a successful Spirit Airlines experience is preparation. And as you may know, the price of Spirit Airlines can add up if you have a bunch of different check bags and carry-on bags because it only comes with one personal item per person. In order to save money, you need to minimize your bags as much as possible. And we have a whole nother video on packing tips for Spirit Airlines, so make sure to check that one out here. But for now, my two tricks are, first of all, as you can see, I'm wearing all of my heavy clothes that take up a bunch of room. And the second trip is to use one of these bad boys. This is a packing cube. I'll link to this specific one that I use below. It's a really big one. And I, could, I probably have at least a week's worth or more of clothes in here. Basically you roll up all your clothes and cram it all in here. I have a swimsuit, two pairs of sweatpants, two shorts, like seven shirts seven boxers and maybe five socks, all in this small little thing. And this all fits in my personal item. But that's not all. I have one more trick up my sleeve. And that is da -da -da -da, the fanny pack. The fanny pack is basically like a free piece of luggage because basically they never check it. I've been traveling for six years now and nobody has ever said anything about my fanny pack. This is a pretty big one. As you can see, it expands like this. And so I just fill this with anything that doesn't fit in my carry-on bag. And then I put it like this and put it behind me like this. And when I'm walking out of the plane, nah, 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 they don't even know. All right guys, that's tip number one. And now let's go find Diane and get to the airport. On this trip, we have two personal items and then this one big bag because we're traveling for six months and we have a bunch of camera gear and drones and stuff. But this is for me and Diane to share us both. And so can you we, believe that? Can you believe that, guys? <laughs> so if we can fit all of our stuff for six months into one big bag and two small backpacks, you can do it too. With these budget airlines, they're usually pretty strict on weight because that's where they make up all their money if you go over your weight. So try to pack your heavy things in your small bags because they don't usually weigh those bags. And your light things or things that take up a lot of space in your big bag, your big checked bag. Because if you go over 40, you're gonna pay. Guys, when you choose your bag for your personal item, make sure it fits in the dimensions. This may be obvious for some, but make sure you're not carrying any prohibited items in any of your bags. Okay, and our next tip for you guys is that Spirit had charges a bunch of small extra fees that can really add up. And one of those extra fees is when you do check-in and printing your boarding pass. So you have to do that ahead of time. You can check in and print your, and confirm your boarding pass online. We like to print it out just in case, just to make sure. And also- You can have it in your phone. They have a good app and you can have it all digital. But for us, we feel better if we print it. And also make sure that you check your email before your flight because sometimes they'll send you links to different forms that you have to fill out. We had to fill out an online form and we had to print out a form and fill it out. And so we have everything that we need here. 
and supposedly there's fines if you don't have these things and so just be careful to check your email. And they mentioned that you always need a pencil when you fly. You need to sign a lot of papers so don't forget this. You don't want to have to borrow pencils from your neighbor on the plane. That's a pain and it has germs on it so bring your own pen. Okay guys and the next tip that you can't forget is to buy a bunch of snacks for the airplane because the food is ugly and expensive. On Spirit, you don't get any free food or meals or anything like on other airlines. They give you a menu and we'll show you the menu and you have to pay for everything, even for water. And so bring snacks and for water, make sure to bring an empty water bottle that you can fill up after you pass security. If you bring a full water bottle, they're gonna make you dump it out or sometimes even take your water bottle. So make sure it's an empty water bottle like this. Okay guys, in the past, a lot of people said in another videos that the customer service is pretty bad. And right now you could do everything online by yourself. So this is the second time we changed the flight. The first time I did it all by myself without any problems. I just paid a different. You could do everything in uh, the website. And the second time it was a little bit complicated, so we have to call, but we received all the information that we needed and we just did, did it without any problem. Yeah, some people say that you can't even get a hold of customer service if you need to get a hold of them, but that was not our experience. I don't know if they've upgraded their, their customer service, but we were to ch able to change our flights right online without contacting anyone. And a different flight, we had already actually taken half of the flights, gone and we needed to change the return flights. And for that one, we had to call, but they were able to help us on everything we needed to do. And so customer service is actually pretty good, despite it being a cheap airline. All right, guys, so we're gonna give you the rest of the tips when we get to the plane. Let's go. I recommend not using those little TSA approved locks to put on your bags because the TSA oftentimes will just break your zipper in order to get in. Instead, you can just lock up your bags with zip ties. Not only does this help prevent theft, but it also helps prevent other people from putting any bad stuff inside your bags. All right guys, we made it through security. And before we get on the plane to show you our on-plane tips, make sure to give us a like if you like this video so far and let's get on the plane. Whenever I put bags with valuables in the overhead bins, I always like to put them in backwards so that I can feel secure if I'm sleeping and knowing that no one's gonna open them when I'm asleep. Call me paranoid, but maybe I've just spent too much time in Colombia. So guys, as we mentioned before, in low-cost airlines, you don't get anything for free. So bring tons of snacks so you don't die. Welcome to Fort Lauderdale. We know that you are ready to go, but please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and carry on items in stowed until the aircraft has come to a complete stop at the gate. As you've probably heard, Spirit flights aren't the most comfortable flights in the world, but they're not the most uncomfortable either. Here are three tips to make sure you're as comfortable as possible on your Spirit flight. The first tip is a tip that Diane loves, and that's to take a Mariol pill. I don't know what the name is in English, but we'll put it on the screen before you take off. When you take these pills, it makes you a tiny bit sleepy, and it just makes all the seats feel more comfortable. And if you have any anxiety about flying or anything, it makes you more relaxed. It's a pill that normally is for like car sickness and that type of thing, but it works great for flights as well. The second tip is what I already mentioned, and that is to make sure you wear your heavy clothes, like your sweatshirt on, your outs on the outside and bring it with you in on the plane because it works great as a pillow and sometimes the airplanes can get a little bit chilly. And the third tip is for taller people. I'd say if you're six feet tall or taller, I'm about six feet, 
and I just fit in the normal seats comfortably. So if you're taller than me, I would suggest looking into upgrading to maybe the emergency exit seat or one of the front seats. I think the prices depend on the trajectory that you're going on, but it may definitely be worth it if you're gonna be on a long flight. As far as entertainment goes, Spirit doesn't have those nice fancy screens on the back of each seat where you can watch movies the whole way. You have to bring your own entertainment with you. So I recommend downloading on your phone or tablet or something, Netflix or mo different movies that you can watch. And the last tip, which this goes for any flight in general, is your flight attendant can make or break your trip. On our first flight, our flight attendant came up to me and upgraded me for free to the emergency exit seat. And then later on in the flight, he offered us free snacks and water to thank me for moving seats, which he did me a favor. And so that flight attendant made our flights way more comfortable. The thing is, most people treat flight attendants like trash. They either don't acknowledge them or they treat them as slaves or something. And so if you just do something small to get on their good side, they'll be happy to help you. It might be a good trick to bring just a little candy or something on the plane and give it to them as you walk in and just to say thank you for their service and you never know, they might give you some free food or snacks or something. All right guys, it's time to check in for our second flight of the day, let's go. So, we missed our connecting flight, that's why we haven't given you any more tips yet, but stay tuned. Our good review of Spirit is about to go very, very bad. So we bought this flight together, so we wouldn't miss a flight. Everyone else can It was we were delayed in immigration, and so we ended up missing our flight anyways. Even though we asked, some of the spirit lady was letting some people pass through to, to catch their flights, but she said that we couldn't pass through, and we missed our flight. And now they're offering us another flight that leaves in an hour, but it has an extra connection, and we wouldn't get there until like nine o'clock tomorrow morning, which is another. 12 or 13 hours, and we're supposed to get there tonight at 11 o'clock. And so we're gonna see if we can talk to the manager, but I don't know. Kind of sucks. Which one of the flights was the least bad? Houston, which is almost waste, then straight to LA. Sounds like that's the only option. <laughs> When they tried to change our flights to the one that was leaving in the next hour, they discovered that that one was full too, and the only other option was a flight that left the next day at midday, and they weren't going to offer us accommodation. The rule is that they give accommodation if, the, if you have less than 90 minutes to meet your flight, but we had 94 minutes. Mm -hmm. So they can't give accommodation. So after an hour of waiting in the country for a new flight, they give us a new flight and then we realize that we only have six minutes to change planes. So if we wouldn't notice that, the same problem will happen again. What a complete nightmare. Guys, careful with spirit. So okay, at this point we realize What's the point of paying a cheap flight if you have to wait for a lot of hours in the airport, get expensive accommodation, expensive food? Luckily, we have some really awesome friends who lived about an hour and away and they were able to come and pick us up and hang out with us until we had to leave. Yeah, so this whole problem happened because the connection wasn't long enough and then when we missed our connection and they printing it, printed us a new flight, the new flight they gave us had the same problem with only a couple minutes in between the connecting flights and if we wouldn't been paying close attention and inspecting those boarding passes the same thing would have happened two times in a row so basically diane was at the counter for over an hour trying to figure out with these guys when our flight was going to be and they seemed pretty inept and didn't know what they were doing but that's not all so next day we checked in we went through security and then security told us that the flight or my passport wasn't related with any flight. So they wouldn't let us pass security. They said that we had to run all the way back to the counter where we had checked in, talk to the lady so she could fix what she hadn't done in the system. And at this point we were running late. So we were literally running through the airport trying to fix all this. 
We had to run back through security, cut the lines, duck under all those those little divider thingies just so we could make it in time. And all in all, it was a super stressful experience. And so I think we're never gonna fly Spirit again. Maybe if it's just a short local flight, but anything international, anything with connections, guys, mm -hmm. the savings you get just isn't worth all the stress. So our plan with this video was originally to promote Spirit Airlines and show you that it's not as bad as it seems and show you some awesome tips to make your trip more comfortable but then everything happened that happened and we thought that we would be doing you a disservice if we didn't share that with you okay this experience is the one that we had and we have to tell the truth about but it's not necessary what is gonna happen to everyone you know yeah this this experience might not happen to you you have to make the decision for yourself if buying the budget tickets with spirit is worth it or not but we just wanted to share what our experience was. We hope you found the video valuable. If you did, make sure to subscribe and give us a like, and we will see you in the next one. See you.